Good morning, Northeast Kansas. You're watching KSNT News at 6. As the campaign trail continues to tighten in South Carolina, candidates are looking for as many endorsements and votes as they can get. A look at who Governor Brownback says he's backing. Plus, I'm tracking a breezy day with stronger northwest winds. An updated look at your forecast is next. Good morning, I'm Wynn Baumgardner. And I'm KSNT News. Storm Track meteorologist Kyle Borkett, thanks for waking up with us this morning. Gwen, uh, Storm Track Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller, he was in late last night, of course. Really? And he was tracking rain. This morning, just some remnant showers out it's there. Not too bad. Not it's too windy, bad. though. It is windy. <laughs> My hair was all crazy. Yeah, and that's your main weather story for today. I want to show you some remnant rains, though, north of I-70. I put a track on this little batch, this small area of light rain. It's moving slightly to the south and east and should be in places like Ozone. Zaki, Jefferson County at about 623 and in Oskaloosa at 644. That is if it holds together. The past few uh, movements of it have been falling apart. I want to take you to some drier skies now with our KSNT Storm Track Weather Cam Network. We're out in Geary County, Heritage Park on the right uh, hand side of the screen. You can see 6th Street in the foreground and some damp spots on the roadways from the rain that pushed through late last night into the wee morning hours of your Tuesday. But as Gwen alluded to, to. Your main weather story today are the winds, 15 to 25 miles per hour. I have a sustained wind in Salina at 32, winds gusting uh, through about 40 miles an hour. Looks a bit more likely now as our morning unfolds. Certainly winds gusting over 30 uh, is a safe bet. Our KSNT storm track future track winds. I'm going to track them out for you. Ladies, you want to tie the hair back today and you want to hold on to your hats area wide. 1030, pretty consistent with what we're currently seeing. 15 to 25 miles an hour from that chillier uh, northwest wind direction. By 130, an hour or two after your lunch break, becoming more northerly. But some good news once the sun sets uh, after 6 and 7 o'clock and we enter the evening and overnight hours. Winds completely shut off. They relax and become light and variable heading into our Wednesday. Currently, you got to check this out. Temperatures area wide, very mild. For some context here, our average high temperature for this time of the year is 45 degrees. We're one degree warmer than that in Topeka at this stage of the game. Warm for this time of the day and warm for this time of the year. It's 46 degrees in the capital city and in Lawrence. Coming up in a few minutes, I am tracking warmer weather still for tomorrow through Friday. You won't want to miss your seven day forecast. Gwen. We've got your back this morning as we continue to look for answers about a case of scabies at a Rossville nursing home. When we asked the Rossville Healthcare and Rehabilitation Center about a reported case of scabies, KSNT News was directed to a corporate representative. Jeannie Moore tells KSNT News the facility implemented normal infection control procedures, but one former employee doesn't think the disease will be easy to stop. I think that they will give it their best effort, but in a community that big with 79 or however many residents they have now, that's going to be very tough. It's going to be very hard to clear. An annual inspection was conducted by the Kansas Department of Aging and Disability Services, but it is still being processed. Facilities have about 40 days after the initial survey to make any corrections to their practices. This morning, Senator Marco Rubio has Governor Sam Brownback's support for president. The governor issued a news release endorsing the Florida Republican as a true conservative who can unite the party and beat the Democratic nominee in the fall. In the statement, Brownback says, quote, Marco Rubio has a proven track record of protecting life, defending religious liberty, and undoing Obamacare. Overnight, firefighters are investigating what led a mobile home in Topeka to become fully involved in flames. Crews responded to the 1000 block of Northeast Jefferson Street shortly before 1 a.m. No one was in the home at the time of the fire. The fire was quickly extinguished. Preliminary investigation shows the fire may have been intentionally set. The estimated damage is valued at $3,000 and the structure is considered a total loss. It's just a few more weeks until trout season begins and parks and recreation services throughout northeast Kansas are making sure lakes and creeks are ready. KSNT News' Katya Like joins us live from one of these lakes with the details. Katya? 
Good morning, Gwen. I'm out here at Moon Lake on Fort Riley with the fish truck, and they are dropping off and letting out these right here, rainbow trout. Now, this is a part of the fishing week. is coming up in a couple weeks for people to head out and go fishing for trout. Um, and so they are dropping these guys off in some of the lakes, so there's plenty of fish here for those on base to go fishing. Now, one cool thing about this year is that they also are dropping off some fish over at a creek off of I-70. It's Ward Martin Creek. You know, when fishing season comes around, a lot of people want to go to lakes to catch this guy and you know a big crowds go but with creeks it's for smaller groups and maybe those young folks who are trying to learn to fish for the first time now this guy's been out of water for a little while so I'm gonna go ahead and toss him into the lake real quick one thing for you guys to remember is that in order to do fishing for trout is you need a permit so make sure you go out and get your permit before March 5th because that's when season starts and make sure you have that so you can enjoy your fishing live at Fort Riley talk to you like case and T news Alrighty, Katya, Valentine's Day is over. Just toss it away. Lake Shawnee will be stocked with 7,000 pounds of rainbow trout next Saturday. An update now to a story we've been following about a Northeast Kansas man who was wrongfully convicted more than a decade ago. Floyd Bledsoe testified before the House Judiciary Committee yesterday on a bill that would compensate individuals like himself who have spent time behind bars for crimes they didn't commit. The proposal would pay individuals like Bledsoe $15,000 for every year they spent in prison. Bledsoe neither supports nor opposes this measure. He believes Kansas should have some kind of law that helps exonerees but doesn't think this particular bill does enough. I was fortunate enough to rent a house from an individual, but if I rented a house from a company, they wouldn't have rented to me because I had no credit history. You know, I mean, it's, it's stuff like that that we take for granted and that needs to be changed. 30 states already have laws that compensate individuals who have been wrongfully convicted. Some of those states offer free in-state tuition and even annuities for exonerees. The new manager of the Kansas Expo Center is concerned this morning over the safety of the facility. Jeff Shabon updated the Shawnee County Commissioners on the current state of the building. He says the Expo Center needs the millions of dollars in improvements the commissioners have been discussing for some time, including the stairs around that facility. Personally, I don't even feel it's that safe. We need to get, the, get that taken care of right away. Uh, the inside really needs some work for these artists and promoters to want to come here because of all the new venues that are built around here. Javon took over as general manager of the Kansas Expo Center on February 8th. He's employed by Pennsylvania-based SMG, the company that runs the facility for Shawnee County. If you're getting a runny nose as the end of winter is approaching, you may be confusing the common cold with something else. We've got you back with what allergists say you could be experiencing. If temperatures stay above average for the rest of the winter, we can expect an early allergy season. While nothing is blooming quite yet, evergreens and shrubs have already started spreading pollen carried by the wind. Allergists are already seeing patients with allergy symptoms. Last week we had some patients who are calling in with some uh, symptoms consistent with allergies and probably uh, we are already seeing some cedar tree pollination. According to other allergists, climate change is making allergy seasons longer and pollen counts higher than they've ever been. Six oh eight and forty six degrees as you wake up across Northeast Kansas early on your Tuesday morning. But the main weather story today, the point I want to get across are those breezes out of the north and west. Check them out already 15 to 25 miles per hour. We are in for a windy day. However, those northwest winds will start to relax after the sun goes down, setting the stage for an awesome Wednesday upcoming tomorrow. Your KSNT storm track bus stop forecast. Many of you are headed back to work in school after a nice long holiday weekend. Hope you enjoyed it and stayed safe and reflected yesterday for President's Day. A B minus this morning rain well to the east. 46 degrees by this afternoon. Temperatures still in the upper 40s, maybe some lower 50s out there with winds pretty consistent at about 15 to 25 miles per hour from the north and west. Our KSNT storm track weather forecast today Topeka 50 degrees, mostly sunny. 
and windy. Riley County, Manhattan, a windy day, 50 degrees. Emporia, 52. Above average temperatures, that average high is at 45. And yep, Lyon County is still windy. Tonight we fall back down to 30, but notice the winds. They are light, variable, and calm. Mostly clear and tranquil as we head into Wednesday. Tomorrow is my pick of the week. Wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, high temperatures, some 20 degrees above average. We'll call it 62. Thursday, by far the warmest day of the week, will have us feeling like May or June, with high temperatures pushing 80. However, it will be very windy with south winds gusting over 30 miles an hour. Might be hard to enjoy with your hair flying around outside later this week. Still nice weather over the weekend. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Gwen. Still ahead on KSNT News, Hillary Clinton weighs in on Obama's choice for the Supreme Court, and she says she already knows who it may be. Plus, W comes out of political hibernation to join the campaign trail. Details on what he had to say about his little brother. The time is 610. Stay with us. You're watching KSNT News. Morning, Tim. Your projected nitrogen availability went down in the south field. Check it out. Don't want to lose yield. That's some serious timber. Well, if you need us, we're here for you. Introducing Climate Field View. Pocket-sized data pros helping you make important agronomic decisions with confidence. Keep your family safe with Kitta products from Menards. Right now, all stock carbon monoxide alarms are on sale. This battery-powered carbon monoxide alarm features a 10-year life, only $11.99. This combination smoke and carbon monoxide alarm features voice alerts that identify the hazard, $24.99. Add security to your home with Quickset and Menards. This smart code deadbolt can be operated by the electronic keypad or a traditional key. Right now, it's only $78. Save big money at Menards. Apparently, the engineers who designed the Ford F-150 have been burning the candle at all ends. Because check out their latest brainstorm, Pro Trailer Backup Assist. Just turn this little knob on the dash, and it helps steer your trailer exactly where you want it to go. This is the Ford F-150, and every other truck is history. Now get an F-150 with up to $10,365 in total savings, or lease for just $269 a month. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. on Kelly and Michael. Perfect Harmony. Weekday mornings at 11 on KSNT. Begin your journey as an esthetician at Pinnacle Career Institute. The art of beauty and health is built on a strong technical foundation. Through hands-on learning, you'll develop knowledge in microdermabrasion, facials, makeup artistry, and so much more. The need for trained and specialized professional estheticians has never been higher. Get your certificate in this rapidly expanding industry at Pinnacle Career Institute. Go to PCINow.com to find out more. Morning, Dave. Point one inch of rainfall was detected on Red Barn Field. Oh! This Oakfield might have a yield rhyming issue. Now that's scary. Introducing Climate Field View, pocket-sized data pros helping you make important agronomic decisions with confidence. The 2016 Olympic Games this summer from Rio. Welcome back to KSNT News. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton is predicting that President Barack Obama will nominate someone who's already been confirmed by the Senate to replace the late Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia. Clinton says that some judges now serving on the federal appeals court were confirmed 99 to 0 by the Senate. I think there's going to be a, an increased attention and pressure uh, for the Senate to act. And I certainly believe that would be the right thing to do. And I think the president's going to look for somebody who has a record that it's going to be hard for the Republicans to be against. Obama has said he'll make a nomination, and Clinton and Democratic rival Bernie Sanders have both expressed outrage at the potential of a GOP-led Senate refusing to consider it. Republican presidential candidate Jeb Bush is getting some campaign help from his big brother. 
Former President George W. Bush appeared at his first rally yesterday, telling his brother's supporters in South Carolina that the United States doesn't need a heated president. And I understand that Americans are angry and frustrated. But we do not need someone in the Oval Office who mirrors and inflames our anger and frustration. As the race enters a more intense phase, Donald Trump issued a statement calling GOP rival Ted Cruz, quote, the single biggest liar I've ever come across in politics or otherwise. Still ahead on KSNT News, the Jayhawks were looking for a little revenge on the court last night. We have your hoops highlights coming up in sports. The time now is 6.15 as we wake up across northeast Kansas with temperatures outside fairly mild, not only for this time of the year, but this time of the day, tracking them in the 40s. Come on back after the break. I'm tracking breezy northwest winds, but also much warmer weather slides in just in time for the rest of the work in school week. Your full forecast is after this.